Hey, Steve Stein here, and today we're gonna to be talking about just how important it is to find a guitar pick that feels comfortable in your hands. Now, a guitar pick is one of those things that we just don't think about that often, but they're really, really important because they can help us develop more control of the things we're trying to play and execute on the guitar, needless to say. Finding the guitar pick that feels right in our hands is also gonna help us avoid things like hand tension, fatigue, or the stress that comes from feeling that we're gripping the, the pick too hard, things like that, having the pick slip, and fall out of our hands when we're trying to play. That's what we wanna try and avoid. Now in this video, we're gonna discuss the benefits of finding the right guitar pick and how you can develop more comfort and control as well as better all ability to play the guitar when the pick that you're using, it feels right between your fingers. So whether you're trying to strum guitar chords, maybe you're a beginner and you're just learning how to play chords, um, or you're learning how to play scales or sweeps, or you wanna to learn to do pinch harmonics or whatever it might be, the pick is the only thing that really stands between you and your guitar, obviously, is learning how to be comfortable with that pick, learn how to hold that pick comfortably, and finding the pick that feels comfortable in between your hands. We spend so much time thinking about scales and licks and guitar strings and pedals and all these different things, and, and all those things are really important, don't get me wrong, but we really need to understand how important that guitar pick is as well. Now for this video, we're gonna be looking at three new guitar picks from a company called Bog Street. And these are called the Axe Series Guitar Picks. We're gonna be looking at how they can help us with some of the issues that we might be having through their unique design. And once we get looking at these things, you're gonna see that. And really I could call it a redesign of a guitar pick. <laughs> You know, when I first started learning how to play, I was really getting into it. The problem that I always used to have is that the pick would turn on me or, um, you know, the, the pick would fall into the carpet or and be lost forever or whatever it might be. And so what I always wanted in a pick was something that I could grip more. And back in the early days, there really wasn't a lot of options for that sort of thing. And so you wound up just gripping harder all the time when you played. And of course, you would develop a lot of tension and uh, fatigue in your hands, things like that. I actually wound up with carpal tunnel syndrome, if you know what that is, and had to have surgery on both my hands. And so the fact that like Bog Street has come up with some technology that really helps us to um, not have to do that with our guitar pick is just a really amazing thing. What I love about this battle axe, now let me show you this here. The battle axe is kind of the, the, the size of a Jazz 3, although you can see that it is triangular, right? What I love about this battle axe is the fact that it's got this texture on there that makes it very easy to grip so I don't have to squeeze really hard. And the other thing that I really like about it is you'll see, you can even see if I hold it like this, there's a hole in the center. And that hole enables us to be able to grab the pick and actually feel our fingers make contact through that pick so it doesn't move as much, okay? Because really the goal, if you think about it with a guitar pick, and this is what I always try and teach students, is that we're trying to learn to relax, relax all of our muscles from the neck on down when we play, whether it's with this hand picking, you know, or doing legato stuff, things like that, or doing scales, whatever it might be. And with this hand, when we strum or we pick, we need to learn how to relax. Well, that's hard to do when you have a pick that keeps wanting to slip or turn on you, right? And so that's what I really like about these Bog Street picks is that the texture on them makes it really easy to grab and that hole in the center actually makes it really easy as well because you can actually converge your fingers together through that hole and then hold onto that pick as well, which is really nice. So now with a pick like this, obviously it's very easy to get, you know, pinch harmonics and all that kind of stuff off of it as well. You know, and I can use my dynamic when I play, I can, you know, I can dig in, all that sort of thing, and the pick isn't going anywhere. And again, it's really learning how to relax, which is the most important thing. All right, I thought I would grab an acoustic for this next part so you could really hear the difference as well. So with the next two picks, there's the axe blade and the axe cut, and they're very similar to each other, except the axe blade is smaller, like the battle axe, and the axe cut is larger, uh, if you like a larger guitar pick. Now, in the beginning, they kind of look like they'd be similar to the Battle Axe, which is the one that I just used. But what makes these really unique is the fact that they actually have, on one of the ends of this guitar pick, it's like a thin guitar pick. So what makes it really cool is, let's say you're a player that likes to play, maybe you're playing acoustic like I am right now, and you like a thinner pick for that sort of thing. 
know, oftentimes we like the sound of a thinner guitar pick when we're strumming an acoustic or something like that. It's less aggressive. Beginners like I like I oftentimes like to recommend a thinner guitar pick to a beginner guitar player because oftentimes a thicker pick might be too aggressive when they strum because they're not used to the you know the dynamics and the feel of of the strum yet. So and and it just sounds really nice, obviously. Mm -hmm. And not only is it thinner, but it's a bit rounder on the on the tip as well. But what's really cool about this is it's really kind of two picks in one because then I can turn the pick just, you know, a half turn there. And I get a, a thicker edge now on that pick. If I turn it back, turn it back again to the heavier side. Now, if you're listening on a phone or something, you might not be able to hear that, but there really is a big difference. So there's a big difference in tonality between that thinner edge and the thicker edge. Again, it has all of the elements of the grip and the hole and all those sorts of things, just like the battle axe did. But now it has this uniqueness of having this thin side, if you like to play that for certain things, and then be able to switch to the thicker side. Uh, and you can do this mid song if you wanted to, or whatever it might be. You just don't need to keep switching picks to be able to do this, which I think is truly amazing. Um, and then the axe cut is really the exact same thing, only with this one, it's a little bit larger in size. So for me, for instance, I have small hands, so I prefer the, the smaller picks, but everybody's different. I've actually found that those axe cuts work really nice for bass as well. If you get the, they all come in a thin, a medium, and a heavy, but if you get the heavy, um, and because of its size, it actually works really great for that. So mm -hmm. again, the axe cut and the axe blade, giving you all of the comfort and control of the battle axe, the, the first pick, but also giving you this versatility of being able to have both a thin pick and a thick pick or a thicker pick uh, built into the same guitar pick, which is kind of cool. All right, to wrap this up, I just want to remind you that there is no one size fits all when it comes to guitar picks any more than guitars or strings or pickups or pedals or amps or anything like that. You have to figure out what works best for you. But I do want to remind you, for instance, one of my favorite guitar players, his name is Paul Gilbert. Paul Gilbert used heavy picks for many, many, many years through his career. And then just a few years back, he kind of rediscovered the medium guitar pick and, uh, you know, he, he was amazed. He didn't think he'd ever go back to a, a thinner gauge, but yet he found that it worked great for him. So even players that are experienced have been playing for many years still sometimes need something to reignite their playing. Um, you know, sometimes it's not just about comfort and control, but it's just about motivation, finding the thing that works for you. So first off, I want to thank you, uh, throw out a thank you to Bog Street for allowing me to do this, for them giving me these guitar picks and letting me check them out I think they're an amazing product and I think you should check them out as well. And I also want to thank Guitar World for giving me this opportunity to make this video. So please take care and stay positive and keep practicing and keep searching for those things that are going to make your journey easier.